Okay, we are going to discuss the rhetorical feature, uh, malprosisms. Okay, a malprosism is when you misspell a word, so it becomes another word almost entirely. Um, there are two main types. There's unintentional and intentional, and we are going to discuss both of them. Here are some examples of unintentional malproprisms. And this is an example, an excellent example, of both an intentional and unintentional malproprism um, because the screenwriters for this show uh, intentionally wrote the dialogue to say, the baby cheeses out of me. Um, however, in the uh, show itself, this is an unintentional malproprism because the character actually thinks that the phrase, the bejesus out of me, is uh, baby cheeses. So, yeah. There are several reasons a author would have to use malproprism in um, his or her writing. The most common of these would be children, because children often mistake words um, or replace them with other words that aren't actually the right ones. Um, this can add to the humor of the piece and it can also uh, indicate the age of you know, the narrator or the person speaking. Uh, another thing that goes along with that is to indicate uh, possible mental disabilities. Um, a character has special needs, a lot of times you'll find not just typos in their words, but uh, them replacing words for other words that are sound the same. Um, and the last two uh, kind of go together. Is uh, It's pretty much just the last example, the baby cheeses instead of the bejesus. Um, it adds character depth, um, and then, you know, it's, it's funny because it's something we hear every day, and everyone can relate to it. So here's some examples that I either thought of or I've heard or seen um, kind of humorous. Uh, she raped him in a blanket, as opposed to she wrapped him in a blanket with a W. Um, I hear this one all the time. My sister always calls a, she still, to this day, she's 15 years old. She thinks that it's a, not the bus boy, it's the bust boy, um, which is pretty funny. Um, smashed potatoes, that's one that, like, little kids always say. Um, and then when my mother, my mom always says, She's putting it, something in the microwave to dethaw it. That's not technically a malproperism, but I just threw it in here. Because um, you can't dethaw something, you can thaw it, but you can't dethaw it. That'd be like freezing it. Anyway. Okay, so I thought of the perfect way to have us remember this device um, really, really well, so you won't get confused. George Bush. George Bush is famous for malproprisms. In fact, they actually call them Bushisms um, because when he speaks, he often confuses words for other words, um, such as in speeches saying weapons of mass production as opposed to destruction. And my personal favorite, I'm mindful of not only preserving executive powers for myself, but for my predecessors as well.